everyone bright and early monday morning how are you guys have you had a good weekend i hope so sun shone a bit so hopefully you got out and about and um managed to stretch those legs and you're not just staring at screens all the time which i know is really tough so here we are week five two more weeks and then half term so i should be receiving your stories i've had some fantastic ones in i've had daisies in and I've had um, Rosie's and Nicole's and Ollie H's, some really nice stories coming in, some superb ones. Um, yeah, so uh, keep them coming on in. Like to see Daniel, Daniel sent me his, he's done a really good innovate. Maybe he now, you know, now needs to think about making a, a tale of fear on his own, you know, not following the story that we did, but doing his own version. So next, two weeks we've just got the two weeks left so we're going to be thinking about poetry in english just two weeks worth on it and i'll be guiding you through that in english videos maths you're going to be finishing off your decimals and percentages i'm just thinking um i may send you home the assessments to have a go at just see how you do in the assessments um and then send them back to me and I'll be able to, don't worry, I won't, you know, just see how you feel about percentages and decimals. If there are aspects that you're still not sure of, when you get back to school, I'll do my utmost to catch you up. We can do a bit of a booster session on percentages and decimals. So, um, you know, you, you'll feel really strongly about it. And then we've got science coming up again. We're carrying on with our electricity. I know sometimes the videos probably feel a bit like they're repeating themselves and it's really tricky to do electricity at home. But I've seen some really impressive uh, diagrams, beautifully done diagrams um, that I will share with you one when you get back. You know, Nicole did a fantastic one. Rosie's done some beautiful ones. You know, really, really quite um, beautifully designed diagrams. So try and keep them as neat as you can. I'd love to see all this work when you get back. You know, it's really important that we've got it back in school. So I'm just finding at the moment Daisy's work um, because I would like to read you some of this. So I've got the choice. So she sent me her lovely English story. So here we go. She was on the build up part of her story. So we're going to read this little bit. Then she realised she was in the clearing of the striped pine and a bird's shriek rang out from somewhere in the treetops. What was that? Rowan whispered to herself, looking around tentatively. Her family would be wondering what she was up to, so she paced up and down, trying to remember the way to go. The fog started to get thicker, closing in all around her. Then she heard it, branches creaking and an ear-splitting sound. But the animals even stayed clear of this place, and there was no wind. Both noises seemed to come from the striped pine itself. Rowan paced more quickly and tried harder to remember the way, as her heart thumped helplessly and distractingly against her ribs. Then she saw it, a flying bran branch-like creature circling over her head. Bra black pearl-like eyes gleamed in their sockets and a dagger-like beak penetrated the air. As its wings began to beat faster, it dived like a person into water towards her. She saw its needle-covered wings, heard its clicking its beak and smelt its piney smell as it came closer. She was paralyzed. Absolutely brilliant, Daisy. I love the vocab. Really good build-up of fear and the idea of these these noises slowly building up around her and then that fear paralysed with fear. Absolutely brilliant. So, you know, superb version. Absolutely. I love the pace. You've got the reader, you know, wanting to hear more. Superb. So well done, Daisy. That's really great. And that's what I'm looking for from all of you. You know, there are some of you who've written a lot, you know, sent me back lots again. Some of you, I haven't seen much writing. Come on, guys, you know what I want. Let's see this writing because when you come back, we're going to have to do tons and tons of it to catch you up if you don't get it done during lockdown. There's no reason why you can't because the videos are all there to help you. It's just like we do in class. So, science in the afternoon. There'll be a bit of jigsaw for you to do as well. So Monday, usual routine, if you can get it done, send back to me as fast as you can. Absolutely fantastic. Well done everyone for quizzing. There are only about two or three people who still haven't managed to quiz and we know why. So well done everyone. If you've had a go at a quiz, I've been checking on Accelerated Reader. I've been even checking on TT Rockstars. 
I've been nagging a lot here to keep going on TTs because we've got to beat Rockwell Green, okay? They're ahead of us on the old league table, so come on, guys. I think Luke's, I think it was Luke or Lucas, I can't remember it, who it was, but someone is down to 0.55 of a second reaction time. Unbelievable. I don't know how you do it, guys. You're amazing. But anyway, crack on, chaps. Monday morning, keep going. Two more weeks and then we can all have a break. All right, take care. See you soon. Bye.